My name is Michael Lehman, I'm Head of Policy at NCFE. We've got so many challenges in the sector, um, I'm not going to talk about them all, but there's some that are, that are really well known and really long standing really. Um, one of which is we allow too many learners to, to fail and fail and fail again and, and that labels them and that stops them achieving. You know, English and maths reset policy, um, it, it's almost a scandal at this point. You know, we need to do something different with that cohort of learners. We really need to fix, um, you know, the issues behind it. We need to give them a realistic chance of, of, of achieving. Um, on top of that, you know, we've, we've, we've invested heavily in qualification reform and uh, on, in the last couple of weeks we've announced that you know T levels alongside A levels have to be scrapped. We've spent a billion pounds on that since 2017 in a fiscal environment where it's very very difficult to find money so we've got to spend the money really really carefully that we do have. Yeah, so I think first of all there needs to be a recognition that the world is changing. Um, you know if we think about kids who are at primary school now, some of those are going to be doing jobs that don't even exist yet. So it's really, really important that we think about the skills that are going to be needed for some of those jobs. And, and of course, the skills that will no longer be needed and no longer be relevant by the time they're, 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 they're working age. So I think taking a whole systems approach and stopping you know, making policies for, for certain age groups or silos, you know, it's very, very difficult to make a policy that works if we focus only on the 16 to 19 phase or only on adult. We need to look at education as a whole journey uh, and, and, and string that together, really. Yeah, so existing funding models are, first of all, very, very complex. It, you know, it's good for people like me, whose, whose job is to advise people on funding, but really, you know, it's, it's not very good for, uh, for educators and for learners themselves to navigate the system, what is and isn't funded. Uh, we've also got a, a very inequitable funding system. You know, the proposed lifelong loan entitlement will, um, will give people who are learning at level four and above real freedom over, you know, the, the education programs they choose to engage in. They'll be able to do much more modular, short or sharper bits of learning which are then stackable but at level three and below actually you know the funding model isn't there for those people they're still expected to take much longer courses and, and that doesn't really stack up so i think you know simplifying that model and, and making it equitable would be a really really good first step so um are we investing in the right areas um it's really interesting question i think you know ag again if we go back to 2016 when the sainsbury report was 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 published if you'd asked people in the sector at the time, you know, what's the number one problem? I think very few of them would have said that we've got the wrong set of qualification for 16 to 19 year olds. So in that respect, I think we, we have tried to, to solve some of the wrong problems at the expense of, you know, some of the ones that are glaring. I think there's some really obvious issues in the sector at the moment, you know, um, careers advice being, being, being a really big one. I think there needs to be a much greater investment in careers advice and really, you know, I think there's broad agreement that this can only work if it's truly independent from the rest of the system. So we absolutely need to attract more investment in FE. Um, it's, you know, it's almost a scandal that FE is funded at a much lower rate than schools and a much, much lower rate than university. What is it about 16 to 19 year olds that means that we can afford to educate them with, with far less resource? Um, and that seems to be an almost accepted fact at the moment. Um, you know, one of the, the great things about the FE Collective is a chance to collaborate and to come together and to work together for shared aims. And I think that's one of the, the real things that we, we can do is, is work together you know, to genuinely have a collective voice to government, which will give us a much greater chance of being heard and a much, it make it much more difficult for government to ignore some of that. Um, the other interesting reflection I've got on this is actually, you know, it, it's not only government that can fund some of this stuff. And, um, you know, there's, there's so much exciting work going on, particularly in the ed tech sector. If we can find something that works and attract private investment in the sector, then again, that's going to have a huge, huge effect um, on, on the skills of the future. Thank you.